So to load your plugins into Ableton Live 10, go to your file window and go to preferences. Under preferences, make sure you're on the files and folder tab. If you're on Mac, here you can choose to use either AU plugins or VST. Uh, you can use both depending on what plugins you have installed. You can also select a custom VST plugin folder uh, if you decided to put them in a different location. Once you enable this, it will then ask you to choose where you've put your plugins. If it's an external drive or just another folder, uh, once you've selected that, you can then assign this as your directory. If you hold down Alt when you hit rescan, it will then make sure it rescans all your directories. And you should see it pop across the bottom left, all the plugins it loads in as it goes through. Uh, alternatively, if you don't do that, you can just close and reopen live. And on initial load, it should rescan all of your new plugins that it's found. Once you're happy this is all set up correctly, close your preferences and then go down to the plugins tab on the left. Here you can see I have an AU plugins list and a VST plugins list. Unfortunately, Live 10 still hasn't sorted out categorizing between instruments and effects, so you end up with just one list of all your instruments and effects together. But here they are as your VSTs and AU plugins. And all I have to do is simply double click on an instrument or an effect and it will load it into my channel. I hope this is useful and thanks for watching.